Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 35-year-old male with complaints of hand pain, most pronounced in the third digit and third digit swelling. They've had the symptoms for eight months, and they come in for an MRI, and we see that there is some abnormal signal in the third and the fourth metacarpal heads, and really that's the only finding. If we put up the fat suppressed T2 weighted sequence, we see that meridema really jump out here. It's really intense in the third. This is the second, third, fourth metacarpal head. So the third metacarpal head is really uh, intense, has intense meroedema. It goes all the way down through the entire shaft. And the fourth metacarpal head also has a moderate edema, not quite as bad. And the edema also goes into the shaft. And we note that there's no arthritis, no spurring or erosion. The proximal phalanges are spared, looking normal. The collateral ligaments here on the sides, the radial and ulnar collateral ligaments look normal. And the flexor and ten extensor tendons look good. There is no evidence of joint diffusion. So really, we have just localized meroedema of the third and fourth metatars uh, metacarpal heads with no evidence of head collapse yet and uh, no other findings. Now on the sagittal T1 images here, we see the extensor and flexor tendons look normal. And we see that the meroedema is really more localized to the palmar aspect of the metacarpal head. If we go to the third one, we see the same thing here, really intense meridema, and again, it's most pronounced along the mid and palmar portions of that third metacarpal head. And the patient had no injury. Their symptoms were long-standing for eight months, and they had no job that would cause repetitive microtrauma. In the end, the uh, main thing to think about here is avascular necrosis of the metacarpal heads. This is very rare. But it does occur, and it's called Dietrich's disease, D-I-E-T-E-R-I-C-H, apostrophe S, Dietrich's disease. And again, there's no head collapse, but I think this patient is at risk to have the heads collapse. The other thing to think about is just osteochondritis. If they do something that has repetitive microtrauma, they can get um, osteochondritis. and going to look just like this. There are, I guess, a few case reports of that. It's very rare as well. But again, avascular necrosis, number one, and then osteochondritis, number two. And again, there's no collapse yet, but I'm worried that this patient is at risk to develop that. And uh, thank you very much.